Hi, my name is Doug Seven, and today I'm going to show you how to use Isenium Live Sync with your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. In order to use Live Sync, there's just a few things you have to do to connect up your device and get uh, get rolling. So let's take a quick look at what those steps are, and I'll be showing you how each of these things work as we go. The first thing you have to do anytime you're connecting a device to Isenium Live Sync is make sure you have the USB driver for that device on your machine. This enables your computer to communicate with the device just like it would uh, any other kind of device you'd connect to your machine, like a printer or a webcam. You have to have the device driver on the machine. That's just the, the way of the world. The second thing you have to do is on the device itself, enable debug mode. And this is just a setting that you can go into and uh, it's a checkbox. You check it and that enables your computer to communicate over USB with the device in debug mode. More importantly for Live Sync, what this enables you to do is to deploy apps onto the device uh, with the simple click of a button. And optionally, and I'll show you this step, you can use the uh, Android Debug Bridge, the ADB tool, to verify that the device is being seen by um, the communication protocols. This isn't necessary, this is optional, but this is also a good tool to use if you have to do any kind of troubleshooting. If for some reason your device is not showing up, uh, this will be a way to find out what's happening or at least investigate it a little bit further. So let's look at uh, how you do these three things and get you up and running. We have uh, right here I have my Samsung Galaxy S3. It's connected and ready to be used. I've got it connected by a USB cable uh, to my computer. And we'll go ahead and do all the steps. Now some of the things I've done just in the essence of time, but I'll show you the steps. The first thing we do is get the Samsung USB driver for mobile phones. This is provided by Samsung as a developer resource so that if you want to communicate with a Samsung device during development of an application, you can. So just come to developer.samsung.com slash android slash tools hyphen SDKs slash Samsung hyphen android hyphen USB hyphen driver hyphen for hyphen windows. Here you can download the package, it's about 26 or 27 megabytes, should down fairly, download fairly quickly and you'll be up and running. That downloads a zip file with an EXE in it. When you run the EXE, it will install the Samsung drivers onto your machine. Once that has happened, uh, that means your, your computer is able to communicate with the Samsung device. The next thing you need to do uh, before you can do anything with Live Sync on the device is enable debug mode on the device. And this is just the setting. So again, the first step was download and install the drivers, easy as can be. And the second step is enabling debug mode. So if we look at the phone, uh, I can just swipe down from the top to get access to my settings, which is this gear icon right here. And when I'm in settings, I scroll all the way down towards the bottom, and there's developer options. When you click on developer options, it'll give you a message that this is only intended for advanced use. Go ahead and dismiss that. The very first option is USB debugging. Now you can see I've already got this enabled. Uh, you disconnect your USB cable when you do this. Uh, it's, you have to set this option while the uh, device is disconnected from the computer. You enable it, and then next time you plug in your device, uh, you'll be ready to do some debugging on it. So now the next step, uh, since I've done the first two things, the very next step was to uh, verify with the uh, Android debug bridge which again is an optional step, not something you have to do, uh, but you can, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, if I come over here to my command line, I've just issued a command to go to the necessary directory. The Android debug bridge is installed when you install Isenium Graphite, so you don't have to go get it, and you don't have to install any SDKs, it's installed when you install Graphite. Just change your directory to your user profile account, so that would be the C slash uh, user slash and then your username app data slash local slash temp slash ADB, which is where we put the Android debug bridge utility. And once you're in that directory, you can go ahead and run the ADB devices command. So ADB space devices. And what this will do is list all the devices currently connected to your computer using the Android debug bridge. So here you can see I've got one device connected, and that is my um, Samsung Galaxy S3. If I were to, oops, let me come back over here to my S3. If I were to disconnect this or turn off USB debugging, for example, I'll go ahead and disconnect it. And then I run that command, you'll see there's no devices attached. And that's the debug bridge just detecting that my device is there and available to be communicated with. Now I run that again, and my device is back. 
that means we're ready to go. So now I can open up Mycenium Graphite and, and I'll go ahead and create a new project and we'll call this the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 test. Click OK and here we're just going to create a basic Hello World app using the blank project template. Nothing, nothing fancy. Now you'll see here I've got a model GTI 9300 and that is my Galaxy S3. That's the particular model number of this S3, which is a, an international LTE phone. And you can see that identifier. Now, if I go back to the ADB bridge, uh, the ADB utility, you can see the identifier here is the same as the identifier uh, in Graphite. And that's because we're just simply using ADB to communicate with uh, the devices. So now I've got this ready to run, and I can go ahead and run it on my device. So I'll go ahead and click Run On Device. And the first thing you'll see happen is down in the bottom left-hand corner, it says Build Started. And there's a blue spinning circle indicating something's happening. What, what this means is we've uh, initiated a uh, compilation or build of the application using the SNM Cloud Compiler Service. So this is being built in the cloud. And when the APK package or the Android Native Application Package is ready to be uh, deployed to the device. We'll go ahead and send it back down into Isenium Graphite, and Isenium Graphite will push it out over to the device, over the device, uh, over USB. So you see here that pushed it out over USB, and now we have the application up and running on our device. And we can do some really fast iterative changes here if we want to. For example, I can come in here and say, instead of Apache Cordova, I'll say Isenium Rocks, and I'll go ahead and click Save and that will make uh, that change show up on the device immediately. So now I have not only deployed my application out to my device, but now I can work in a very iterative fashion, uh, just like I would with the device simulator, but now with the actual device and see how it looks on my device. And if I want to, I can test different things like orientation changes. So I'll flip to the side and we can see how the orientation changes with the app. And, and I can make more changes. For instance, I can say, not only does Isenium rock, but so does LiveSync. It'll make that change, and we'll see that change update on the device automatically. So there you have it. It's that simple, connecting your Samsung Galaxy S3 to Isenium to use with LiveSync. Uh, two steps, really. Get the USB drivers and install them, and enable debug mode on the device. And as an optional third step, you can verify with the Android debug bridge to ensure that it's uh, communicating correctly, or if you need to troubleshoot some kind of errors that you might be having. Remember, if you're installing uh, or doing live sync over your computer with multiple devices, keep in mind the power consumption that each device pulls on your USB uh, system. Make sure you have powered USB hubs to support you in that. And we'll talk more about that in a later installment. For now, go out and have fun. Enjoy Asenium. Build some great apps uh, regardless of what device platform you're working on. I'll talk to you next time. 